Hey guys, thank you for so much support on the last two videos, especially the second last one. Now I'm going to do a full depth trailer reaction of the How to Train Your Dragon 3 new clips. In we go. Okay, so that right there was a new dragon called Crimson Gorgata that I assume got captured by Grimmel and then when Hiccup went to save his dragons, they let it free. Thinks he has to lead alone. Well, because his father had to. He doesn't realize the strength you have together. Do you still believe in him? Of course. I wish he did. But he thinks he's nothing without Toothless. And help him realize the truth. Okay, so what happened and that's it. It's pretty self-explanatory. But just in case you want me to say it, I'll say it. So what happened there was, was Astrid and Valka were chatting about how Hiccup wants to lead alone because his father Stoic did. Which is basically Hiccup reminiscing about his father. I think that's the way he's trying to deal with it. By trying to be more like him. And Valk is trying to tell Astrid to tell Hiccup and that Astrid believes in him and will always trust him. Yeah, so that's kind of a sweet moment right there. What you picking up on, bud? The Light Fury! She's following us! That's Hiccup and his gang, which I believe his tribe is flying behind him because there's more dragons. And what they're doing is they're trying to find the Light Fury and they see Light Fury fly in the clouds. And then Tough Nut, you know how he's stupid, he quests if Light Fury is made out of clouds because she disappears. And then when they finally f find him, the Light Fury picks up Hiccup and throws him into the ocean. Probably because she thinks Hiccup is a threat to Toothless and is controlling him. So she wants he Toothless to be free. That's why she wants him to come with her to the hidden world. As well as incredible new dragons, worlds to discover, as DreamWorks visual effects supervisor Dave Warford explains. You know, there's uh, quite a few scenes mixed in the same one. So what happened there was at the first scene, the Crimson Gorgata, he was free, right? So he was attacking Grimmel's ship, boat, I'm not really sure. But he was attacking the boat. And then it cut to the next scene, which the next scene was Toothless in the Hidden World, roaring to the dragons to show that he's a king alpha. And then the scene after that is the Hidden World. And it's sparkling glory. Well, you're right. You're back to where you started. But I was the first to believe in you. And I have watched you doubt whether you're worthy ever since. But you know what? I am the person I am today because of you. I never told you that, but it's true. You are the bravest, most stubborn, most determined knucklehead I know. Toothless didn't give you that hiccup. He just made it easier. And now it's going to be a lot harder. So, what are you going to do about it? Probably something stupid. That's the hiccup I know. Suit up, gang. We're going to get them back. So this scene is quite a big Hickstood hick scene. And it's where Astrid tells Hiccup that he's back to where he's began. But she still believes in him and that she is who she is today because of Hiccup. And she also tells him that Toothless doesn't make him determined, stubborn and the most bravest knucklehead she's ever known. 
he just makes it easier. And asks Hiccup what he's going to do now. And then Hiccup responds with probably something stupid, which is a reference to the first movie. But it's time. Not a word.